So I made this sandwich for lunch and I'll be making it for dinner as well. This is for two sandwiches and most of the work you'll be putting into this recipe is roasting the cipollini onions. These little Italian donut shaped onions are sweet, sweeter than your average yellow or white onion. And they are perfect for caramelization, which is what we are gonna do today. If you can't find cipollini, you can use pearl onions or even shallots. Trim and peel about 200 grams of cipollini onions and place in a bowl. And you can also leave them whole. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees. This approach to roasting these onions is from Serious Seats by Kenji Lopez, one of my faves to watch here on YouTube. In a cast iron or any pan that can be transferred from stove to oven, melt two tablespoons of unsalted butter in your pan and then add the onions and season with salt and freshly cracked pepper. Give a mix and then transfer to your oven on the middle rack and roast for 30 to 40 minutes, tossing occasionally. Once done, they will be roasted, caramelized, and soft, delicious. Place in a bowl and let them come to room temperature. Now we're gonna add 100 grams of sun-dried tomatoes to the bowl, no need to chop them up. If you want some heat, grab one Calabrian chili. I removed the seeds for this, and you can use dried chili flakes if you don't have as well. Add to the bowl and season with salt and freshly cracked pepper. Now we will add everything to a food processor or a blender, along with two to three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Pulse until you get the consistency you are looking for. Give a taste, adjust any seasonings. I like a nice smooth texture, very close to a puree. Grab a panini roll. This one is about eight inches. Slice, and if you like, you can toast it up. I am not. Spread as much as you like of the spread on the bottom half of the bun, and even the top half as well if you like, and then place down some sliced mild provolone. I was able to get four slices down. Now onto the salami. This stuff is beautiful. There's no misshaped shoddy meats in this sandwich. Lay down two layers of mild or hot Milano salami or any salami that you enjoy at home. Once you have a nice pile of salami, we will add fresh basil as much as you like. This adds such a nice flavor to the sandwich. And then place that top half bun on top and look at that. You have yourself one hell of a sandwich. Bring it to the table if you don't eat it right on the spot. This sandwich is perfectly layered, simple and good quality ingredients. And simple is always best, right? The sun-dried tomato and cipollini onion spread just adds something a little extra to something that's already perfect. Meat and cheese between two pieces of bread. Can't get better than that. Add this spread, there you go. So I hope you give it a go. And as always, the full recipe is in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.